This is a DIY theremin. An instrument that you perform by moving your hands in the air. But this video is actually more about the material that I used to build it. Foam board, also known as foam core, is a material that could easily be cut and glued together, which is perfect for prototyping DIY projects. We can use it to prototype a robot or musical instrument. Let's explore the process of prototyping with this material so that we can build an instrument like this. But first, let's talk more about foam board and its advantage over other materials when prototyping. For a while now, I was struggling to come up with a material that could universally be used by everyone watching this channel to learn about instrument design. Wood is a great material, especially for the final version of a project. But it has a bit of a learning curve. And if we live in an apartment, we won't be able to use a jigsaw for example because it's too loud. Also, it's too messy to be used indoors. 3D printer is a great tool to use, but it can be quite expensive and it's also not ideal for apartments because of air pollution. And depending on the project, they are a faster method than 3D printing. Eventually, I remembered about foam board and I thought that it would be a perfect material for this channel. It's not expensive at all, it's quiet, it's not as dangerous as woodworking for the most part, and we can use it to prototype in short amount of time. Okay, I'm going to show you the process of building this DIY theremin using foam board, and I hope that you build something similar after watching this video. Let's get started. Here's what we need to buy. We need foam board, X-Acto knife, a mat to cut on top of, ruler, pencil, double-sided tape, and glue. If you want to recreate this theremin, here's the list of materials needed. Arduino and USB cable, distance sensors for controlling volume and pitch. I'm using a light sensor for controlling the volume, but that's because I only had one distance sensor. Wires, breadboard, and finally, standoffs, screws, and nuts. I'll talk more about what these are for. We can buy foam board on Amazon. A lot of the foam boards do have mixed reviews, but most can be ignored. For example, I bought this one and many people were saying the corners were damaged, but mine wasn't. That being said, if you don't want to risk anything, you can always go to your nearest Michaels or Joann's. In terms of the thickness, I recommend 1 8 inch thickness. We can typically cut through all the way with one or two cuts. And we can glue two layers together so that it's more durable if needed. X-Acto knife is what we'll be using to cut the foam board with. It's very straightforward to use as long as we don't hurt ourselves. And please use this type of mat so that you're not damaging the desk. Let's build an enclosure for a theremin. First, we need to figure out the dimensions. So I measure the parts and how much space I would need on the inside and such. I drew out the dimensions in the CAD software so that I can print out a one-to-one -one scaled dimensions on a piece of paper and I can stick it onto the foam board using double-sided tape and now I can use the X-Acto knife to cut the foam board into the shape that I want. You can use Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or other software to do this. As the design gets more complicated, especially when dealing with curves, this method should serve us very well. We can also be more traditional and save paper by using pencil and ruler. The way that I lay out the pieces whenever I build a box is like this. The side pieces will go on top of the bottom piece like this. It's a lot sturdier this way. And the front piece will cover up the edges like this. I messed it up on this version because the edge right here is visible. It's mainly for cosmetic purpose. This layout will make the instrument look nice from the audience's perspective because the edges are hidden in the front. Let's start cutting. Make sure the blade is straight when you're cutting. We can use a metal ruler to maintain proper orientation. And always make sure your hand is not in the way of the blade. Again, please be careful when using the X-Acto knife. Just like anything else in life, it gets easier as you do it more.
Before we can glue these together, I'm going to poke these holes for the Arduino. I'm using a standoff to mount the Arduino to the enclosure. And I'm using a double-sided tape for the breadboard. Also, let's put rubber feet to the bottom so that it doesn't slide around. Then I'm going to poke holes for the distance sensor. And I'm also going to cut a hole for the wires to go through. And I'm doing something similar for the light sensor. And now we can glue these together. I'm using a super glue here. Make sure that it doesn't leak over the edge. I put a little too much here and this happened. Same thing happened here. Look, I'm doing this at an awkward angle while filming, so I'm giving myself an excuse. Please do take your time and be extra careful when gluing. And also, don't do it late at night either. That being said, I guess it looks vintage now. I'm happy that I didn't mess up the front panel, thank goodness. Finally, wire things together. And it's complete! Let's make some noise. I'm using Arduino IDE and Max MSP. You can also sound design using Pure Data, which is free. And I have separate tutorial videos on these topics. So this was relatively cheap to make. Most of the cost came from tools that can be reused for future projects. And it didn't take too long to build this. From measuring dimensions to wiring it all together, it's definitely possible to do it over the weekend. So, I hope that you'll build something like this as a weekend project. Once we play more with this prototype, and decide that we need to build a more durable version of it so that we can play live shows for example, I suggest that you build it out of wood or plastic. With that being said, foam board should be durable enough for it to be used in your home studio, jam session with your friends, and even live shows if you're being extra careful. As long as the performance and the music are good, no one's going to care what the instrument is made out of. And there we have it. Foam board is a great material for quickly building DIY electronic musical instrument. If you want to design your very own instrument, I got other tutorials on that topic and I got more on the way. I hope that you'll use foam board to build DIY instrument and have fun playing music. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye.